Good morning and welcome to another week of virtual Sunday School. I am here in the sanctuary because in one week we are going to, there are going to be people who come back to church for in-person worship and for in-person Sunday School. So if, if your family decides to come back to church, I will be here so excited and ready to greet you. I'll look a little different. I'll have this guy on my face like that and things will be a little different and just that we can't be as close as we normally are so we'll be trying to practice social distancing that just means keeping a little space between us for those who children who are able will be wearing masks just to protect everybody so I hope to see some of you next week I realize not all families are ready yet if that's your family that's totally fine you can continue to watch the lessons online. So they'll be in person and online. Whatever your family decides is perfectly fine with us. Just know that there will come a time when we will all get to be together safely. And until then, you can watch online. So this morning, we are gonna march up the mountain and join the people who followed Jesus. And remember that you can do so by standing up and stomping up that mountain. You can pull yourself with ropes, or what I'm gonna do this morning is just march with my fingers. That's just what I feel today. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, we made it. Before we sit down, I want you to reach your arms up as high as the sky and imagine during this time, the people believed the mountain was very sacred and special and brought them closer to God. So we'll stretch out for a minute, think about that. And now we're ready to get started. For the lesson today, Jesus made the promise, with the blessing first. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. For a moment, I want you to place your hands right on your heart. Right in the middle of your body is where your heart is. Jesus not only cares about the outside, but he cares about what's inside too. He cares about our hearts and our minds and our souls and our spirits. And so today is about our hearts. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Our heart is what keeps us alive. Can you feel your heart beating in there? It's pumping blood throughout your whole body and keeping you alive. It's a special thing. Our, our hearts are also at the center of our lives and how we treat one another. The way we treat others starts on the inside. Think about that for a minute. Whatever you're feeling on the inside is what you put out into the world. So if your heart is soft and loving and caring, that is what you put out into the world. There's a connection there to being kind in your heart and, and showing that kindness to others. To be pure in heart means to show love to God. You know about that, showing love to God. To show love to your neighbors and to show love to yourself. Sometimes that's the hardest one. We can be really hard on ourselves. Mom, grandma, aunt, uncle, if you're watching with them, you know what I'm talking about. We can be really hard on ourselves. Kids can too. But a lot of times it's the moms and the dads and the grandmas that can be hard on ourselves. God wants our heart to not only love others, not only love him, but to love ourselves as well. Okay, it's important. We've got to love ourselves. You do this by showing kindness and love no matter what or how other people see it or perceive it. So I'm going to give you an example. You know I love this one because I've used it. <laughs> I'm talking about doing something kind for someone when you're not going to get any credit, okay? My example is cleaning your room. Cleaning your room for your mom and dad when they don't ask and they don't expect it and they're not looking for it. That's a kind thing to do and you're just, you're, they didn't say I'll give you a dollar if you clean your room. You just clean your room today because it's messy and you know that they need your help. So that's an example of doing something kind when it's not expected, when nobody's looking for it. Last week we talked about how it can be hard to do the right thing, 
right? It can be really hard. I talked about it in my children's chat last week with the boys. Sometimes to stand up for the kid in class that kids are being mean to, that can be hard. There's a lot of times when choosing kindness is not easy, especially for kids. Doing something without expecting anything for it back, when you do that, that is showing pureness in your heart. When you do something and you know that it's not easy, or you know that not everybody's going to support you, but you do it because you know it's the right thing and it's the kind thing. That is being pure in heart. I did something today, and, and you guys can do this at home if you want, but it's, it's to illustrate, it's to show that God loves our outside, but he loves our inside too, and he's looking at what's inside our hearts, and that's really important, what's inside our hearts, because it it impacts how we treat one another. So here is a picture of me on the outside. What are some things about me? I have glasses. I have on a black shirt. I have shorter hair. I got a haircut. There I am. And then this on the back, I drew a picture of a heart. And what things are in my heart? What things are important in my heart? Of course, there's my boys, Ben, Jack, and Nate. There's the church. I love our church. I love our church family. I love kids and babies. You guys should know that. I love animals. I love to garden. So looking at me on the outside, would you know that I like to garden? Nope. That is what's on the inside. So there's a difference in what's on the outside and what's on the inside. So for this, you can either draw both. You can draw a picture of you, what you look like on the outside, and then what's on the inside of your heart. Or you can just do the inside your heart part, if that's what you'd rather do. I love my neighbors. My family loves football. You probably would not know that just by looking at me, but I do love football. So it's just a fun way to think about what's on the outside and what's on the inside, and that what's on the inside really matters. Will you pray with me? Loving God. You are always real and true in what you do and promise. Please help us live our outward lives from pure inward hearts. We want to think, speak, and act because of our love for you and your world. We want to see your spirit active and at work and be a part of your team. Amen.